you hung out with David Bowie once, and I haven't talked mm -hmm. to you since he passed away. Yeah. I had the pleasure of interviewing him a few times, but you got to really hang out with him for a long time. I, well, I was just on SNL. We went, uh, Dennis Miller and John Lovis and I were walking around after the show in the middle of the night, and we were at the Columbus Cafe, which mm -hmm. was go, and it was empty, and in the back was Mick Jagger and David Bowie. You know, and we sat with him, and it was really cool. And Jagger goes, you know, we're quite famous. <laughs> and, and they were la and they're smoking weed. Is that OK to say? Or whatever. This was a long time ago. What are you talking and about? And then yeah. Bowie, I don't do a Bowie, but it's like, would you, like, would you fellas like to go dancing? You know, David Bowie to us. And Dennis is like, Chris, thanks. Of course we will. Ground control, I'll call Fred Astaire over here. <laughs> John's like, I'd love it, you know, so. <laughs> so we went downtown and David Bowie, uh, we got on the dance floor and the three of us awkward and Bowie did all these cool moves and he taught us this kind of turnaround 360. You David probably Bowie taught you a turnaround move? Yeah, turnaround move. Can we see it? Can we, can well, we see what, it? Well, I'd have to be on the hardwood though. Can I go down yeah, there? Yeah, go ahead, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's nothing really that big. It's just sort of like, you ready? Oh, it's like, it's like, you just plant one foot, and then you go like that. <laughs> That's it! That's it! What wow. the hell? It's like Bowie was here for a second. Yeah, I know. For a second, I wasn't sure if I was looking at David Bowie or you. I it's know. crazy. It was unbelievable. I was, I was almost passing out with joy right well, then. Over the, over the years, you, you got to meet just about everybody. Is there one comedian present company excluded, <laughs> around right. who you've been sort of awestruck. Like, you just couldn't um, believe their talent, their ability. Well, um, I was a waiter at the Holiday Inn near San Francisco, and I, I waited on uh, Richard Pryor. You waited on Richard Pryor? Uh-huh. I, I gave him a, a Denver omelet, and after the, I came back, and, you know, I took the omelet, and he, and he said, I'll never forget, he goes, whoever made that omelet can suck my d <laughs> And I never knew whether that was a positive or a negative. <laughs> and then I ended up doing a movie with Richard Pryor 12 years later. Wow, okay. And I wanted to know. I wanted to know what he meant all those years. So at lunch, I had a cheeseburger, and I'm sitting next to Richard Pryor, and I go, man, this is a delicious cheeseburger. Whoever made this cheeseburger can suck my d <laughs> And he goes, you must love that cheeseburger. Yes! <laughs> Reflecting I your love that. I love that. You've met them all. I've met them all, and I've met you. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> what I'm prepared to do. I do think that's that's your burning. Get the jacket up. That's all I'm saying.